Welcome back to Coyote Classics. Today, we're gonna to be checking out a really beautiful 1970 Chevy Camaro, uh, fully restored, redone in its correct color, Mulsane Blue, numbers matching motor. Just a really quality rotisserie restored 70 uh, Camaro. Um, we bought this as a real super sport. Um, but as far as we can tell, it is not. It's a factory numbers matching 350, 350, um, non-real super sport, but when they did it, they did a beautiful job cloning it. Yep. And it's hard to tell, this one was built um, at the Van Ness plant in Los Angeles, California. And on the California built cars, you cannot tell by the trim tag if it was a real you know, super sport or G28 from the California built. Right. Now the Norwood cars, you can. Um, the reason that we think it, it might not be is because the numbers matching motor, when we decoded it, one site said that with this suffix, it was probably a two barrel motor from the factory. Correct. Um, yeah. So we just can't verify, but a numbers matching car, air conditioning car, and it's really nicely restored. Yeah, and probably my favorite color. You know, I love For the sure. turquoise, but in a Chevy, this is my favorite color. Yeah, and they did a really nice job with the paint and body, which we'll talk about as we go around it. Um, we just put a brand new fan shroud in, it came in, it didn't have one. We thought with the air conditioning it should have one. Mm -hmm. air, air blows ice cold, it's got power steering, power brakes, a uh, correct fender tag, which is decoded on our website. Even the paint on the um, inner fenders just speaks to the quality. It does, and so does the door jams, Dalton. They did a great job there as well. Love the white Super Sport stripes, SS emblems. Um, I just wiped this down, it had just a light coat of dust on it from yesterday's pictures. Uh, so I, I'm very familiar with it. It's got a couple little scratches in the car, but this was a, a older restoration, I'd say what, in the last eight years, 10 mm -hmm. years, but yep. it was an absolute show quality car. And that's all the previous owner did with it. Um, took it to shows and enjoyed it. If you go to the bumpers, it looks to me like the bumpers could be the original bumpers. They're still in great shape, but they have some little micro scratches in them if you can see that upon close inspection. Um, the grill is in great shape. Hood lines up excellent from front to back. Back of the hood, and this is a long hood, but the back of the hood lines up great on both sides. And just the quality of the paint, especially on a nice like sunny day today, we got a little overcast, but um, just a beautiful, beautiful finish, really straight body, everything lines up great. I love those Craggers. You know, they had eight inch Craggers all the way around. I went ahead and ordered uh, a brand new set of sevens mm -hmm. and put those sevens on the front. So they've got the sevens on the front now with the eight ons and the eights on the back, 245s all the way around. So I'm hoping with the eights on it, it just rubbed a little bit. I'm hoping with these sevens that took care of it. Um, here is our, like I said, look at the back of the hood. Top to bottom of the uh, fender is excellent. Lower fender's great. Bottom of the door is awesome as well. Tire tread is great. Over the wheel well is beautiful. Um, roof rail rubber is new. As and this, we look across the roof. Here, it seems like on all second gen Camaros, you commonly see cracks here where the lead line is. Nothing on this. It's beautiful. They did a nice paint job on it. It's got Pioneer 6 by 9s and that back shelf and that back shelf and the top of the back seat is perfect. I really like the quality of this one. I'm gonna go ahead and open that door a minute. Yeah. Dual exhaust, nice tips. That did a beautiful job there. Back tail light lenses and the chrome around that is excellent as well. Spoiler fits perfect. Now look at the quality of the door jams. That's what I'm talking about here. This, that's what takes this apart from one that's a little cheaper. Yes. You know what I mean? Yep. Just around the edges, what kind of quality of work they did. That's nice too, huh? Yeah. Really nice. Bottom of the trunk lid is great. Even this Just is all... in the corner. Yeah, that's all speckled and clear coated, huh? Mm hmm That's nice. Very, very nice. Nice presentation of a 70 SS Camaro. Yeah. Very nice. And I, and that's neat too. This is the correct color for the car. You know, not a repaint. A lot of times people like to repaint them this color because it's great, but this one actually was born born this way with the black interior. Now, the only interior imperfection that really jumps out at me is so typical of these Camaros. Do you see how that back of that kind of rolls a little bit? Mm -hmm. The dash pad's in great shape, but the very back rolls. Yep. 
Um, it's got the correct steering wheel. Steering wheel's in great shape. Wood grain's nice as well. Matches the console nicely. AM FM radio, aftermarket. Um, it's a custom auto, auto sound, it's right here. There's the instruction booklet. Even the light in the glove box works. Tells you what quality of car it is. Corner of the door is perfect. And even these is something that a lot of times restorers don't do. You know, so that way it's out away from the door panel a little bit. That's nice, otherwise they scuff, don't they? Yeah. That's cool, and it matches the wood grain pretty nicely. Now, there is a couple hairline scratches. I don't think that's one of them. It's and they're over there on the passenger, or on the driver's side. Um, I think they'll buff out, I really yep. do. We have not buffed this one, it came in so nice, uh, we didn't get a chance to buff it. But we will buff those scratches and hopefully that'll come out of there. Um, back glass is crystal clear. You can tell when they did it, they pulled the glass. Just did a beautiful job in there as well. Quarter panel is nice. Over the wheel well. Looking up and down the sides, the front of the door fits good to the fender, back of the door fits good to the quarter. It's a tiny little speck in the clear right there. It's very tiny. Like you said, the sail area is in great shape on both sides, no imperfections. Tire tread's great all the way around, SS 350. There's a couple little tiny little rock chips that has a little compound in them as all. Well. You see that right there, just very, very minor. Again, even though they had this mainly for a car show car, they did drive it a little. Here's just two little scratches right here. Mm. And then there's a tiny one here, and then one a little longer right here. And one up here too. And I'm, I feel like those are probably buff, but we just I didn't notice them and didn't right buff the car because it came in nice. But that's really all I've seen in this whole entire car. Floors are excellent. Doors are like, like I said, the door paint is just as nice as the paint on the outside of the car. Both door panels are excellent. Seats are nice. Um, they're the correct style seats too. It looks like them when they did them, they put all new padding on them mm -hmm. and everything. They're just really nice. Got the correct GM seat belts for two in the back. Dome light works, headliner's nice. Oh yeah, they definitely put new padding in it. Yeah, they're comfortable. Um, it's got the original overhead shoulder seat belts. And they've got both of the, the seat belts stuck down in here in the holders, on both sides here. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool. What else we got, Big D? Very tasteful. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just do some of these things now. Antenna's in the windshield. Should be able to get something for a station here. No. Oh, no, here we go. Now we're talking, if we can. They'll work, but we just gotta find a station that comes in around here, which is not any of those. <laughs> None of those? No, you gotta get like 93.9 or something. But anyway, you got antenna in the windshield, speakers are hooked up. Um, See what mode it has. It has aux, AM, FM. So you, you can play from your phone. Okay, um, cool. All right, passing on that. Wipers are brand, yep. brand new wipers. And they park correctly. And it has idiot lights instead of the gauges and, yep. and those work too with the key on. Horn works. Also we got uh, air conditioning works as well. There's your fan. Yep. And it works on all the speeds. Okay, go ahead and fire it up. Go ahead and uh, roll the windows up. Should we can get that air going just for a little bit? Um, now, when they, we charge the air, so the air blows ice yep. cold. You can feel it right now. This car is just so comfortable. I love this Camaro. Me too. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and shut the van down to low. Dude, this is something I didn't realize on these that I haven't. I don't even know if I've seen this, but where it's got that we can shut the air off at the vents. Hmm. I've never seen that in a '70 Camaro. I neither. I, I thought it brought it up and down, but... No, it shuts cool. it off. Yeah, neat. And here's another rare thing. 
I mean, it shouldn't be, but that little park indicator mm -hmm. works. Most of the time, it's just a little cable and it breaks. Yeah. This is all nice. It's got the rubbers in there and stuff. Did a beautiful job with this one. Um, new joints all felt good when we went in to drive there. Just a quality car. Gas gauge works. It's gonna make somebody a really nice Camaro. Yeah, it will. I will just ease it up here a little bit. And Great shift, especially for that numbers matching tranny. Our disc brakes are awesome. Stops nice and straight. The alignment's good. Idle's good. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. These are 70 to 73, specifically 70. Probably one of my favorite muscle cars as far as, um, I think it, not even, not even probably, it is. We like and, the size of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can, a big six foot five, six foot mm -hmm. two, can easily get in here and be comfortable. And the I like the looks. Better. I like if you got a nice looking 70 with the right set of wheels and tires set up nice. I like the looks of that better than I do like a 69. Really? Believe it or not. Yeah. Unpopular well, you see opinion, a lot but, of 69s, but mm -hmm. yeah, I would agree. Like I said, how about the idle? It's not you no know, super huge cammed up engine, just numbers matching 350 yeah. with a good build on it. 245s all the way around. Speedometer works good. Nice, nice shift. shift. 60, 65, 70. And those tires, um, at least for that bump anyway, seem to help. When we had that eight, those eight inches on before. Yeah. They yeah. were hitting on the out, you know, the outside inner yeah. fender. And they still might rub a little, but these cars came with the 245s all the yeah. way around. So here's your brakes, absolutely perfect. No pull left or right. Go ahead and there's all the way to the right, left, all the way to the right. We're not hitting right now. No. Let's see what happens when you hit a bump. But I'm gonna go through the gears once. You know, again, not a powerhouse, but picks up speed good when you go down the going down the road. Mm -hmm. Speedometer's right on the money too. Doesn't bounce at all. It's yeah. not bad. No. Kick down works good on the tranny. We did. Oh yeah. 75 mile an hour right down the road. Drives great. Super tight too. Um, as far as wind noise, awesome. Yeah. Those roof rail rubbers work great. Kicked it's down. a great car going down the road. Just doesn't have a ton off the line. Yeah. Good quality car. Check it out on the site, coyoteclassics.com. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next test drive.